my name is Diego, and in this video, I would like to help you to be able to play Vampire by Olivia Rodrigo. I'm a piano instructor. I own my own music school, and in this video, I try to help my students so they don't have a lot of trouble learning how to do a song like this at home. So with that said, let's go back to a close-up, give you some tips so you can start like practicing and getting this to hopefully learn it in, in very short time. So first, I will practice the four chords that make up the introduction and the first part of the verse, which are F major. Uh, I try to play it like that, one, three, and five with my right hand and then finger one, uh, five on the left. That's F, A, and C, as you can see there, this second chord. That's an A major chord, A, C sharp, E with the right hand and then A uh, on the left. That one for us a third chord, that's a B flat major chord, and then that will be a B flat minor. My suggestion will be to get used to putting the metronome and then doing four counts each. It's not gonna sound identical like the song, but the idea is to prepare you. The idea is to give your hands something to grasp, so that way you're getting a little bit of a platform. So when you're playing the next things that have a little bit more detail, your hands have a little bit of a better idea what, what they're doing. So uh, next, a uh, couple of things that I like to mention, a lot of tutorials out there, no one mentions fingerings, and I think in piano fingerings are incredibly important so people don't get stuck and don't start playing tons of wrong notes. So I would do this one and two, to start those two first notes. Uh, of course, you're repeating the A more than once. And then you're doing this little run. Now, I think there is important to do fingers two, three, four, and then pinky on the C sharp. Why? Because I'm trying to give you almost strong fingers so you can do that, especially, let's say, if you haven't played been piano, playing piano for a long time. Now, when you get to here, I'm using my pinky to play that C sharp, but I need to change that so I can do the next run. So I want you to play that like that for the first time that you play it and immediately replace it to either two or three on the C sharp. That way you're gonna be in this position to play the next batch of chords that goes like this. And then you're gonna switch again to one and three on this chord and then one and five for the right hand, and I'm talking about the right hand, and then three, two, one. So it's all about the right hand. So I'll probably do it slowly one more time so you can definitely check what finger is I'm using because this is a part that I see a lot of my students struggling with. So one and two, then two, three, four, five and one, uh, and then one and probably three, continue to go, then then one and three for this section, and then one and five, then followed by three, two, one. I really believe that if you're playing with the right numbers, it's so much easier to play something like this. And one thing that I see a lot of my students do it is if you do this five times, let's say you're playing the introduction five times, it's not gonna help you if every time you're playing it with different numbers. So it's almost like at least make a choice Maybe write it. If you have sheet music, put it on the sheet music. If you're doing something with a notepad or like you like how, whatever way that you want to do it, it should be the same way every single time. So that is the introduction. I think there's a little bit of like a rhythmical thing, like a rhythmic thing that can be challenging for my students, which is almost to count uh, the notes that are land on the second part of beat four. But there, hopefully with the recording, you can sort that out. So let's talk a little bit about the way that the piano player and I don't I don't know too much about Olivia Rodrigo, if she's the one that records her piano parts or if it's someone else, because the, the song is written by her and someone else. Uh, but one interesting thing is like the way that they're playing this piano part, I think is pretty cool because it gives it a little bit of, uh, of energy, uh, especially in the upbeats of uh, beat four. So if you look at the, uh, the first part of the verse, uh, it, this is what's going on. So it's almost like my left hand is almost answering there. And then the next chord. So that makes it sound cool because it almost gives it the energy so it doesn't feel too, too like heavy. So once again with this. Sorry. There's only one note there and then chord. So 
So I think that pattern is a it's a very cool pattern not only to see in this song but also to kind of like try to apply it to other things that you may be trying to play if you're a singer songwriter and you're trying to like almost make something cool out of uh, playing something a song like this. So hopefully with those couple of tips you got the the first part. I'm probably gonna do a couple more parts for this video just to not make them too long to cover this song. A uh, very cool piano part, I think very 2023 piano playing on a song, which is actually interesting to see because I think if you are someone that loves piano, one thing is to play piano in things that you're playing the melody, like classical, and another thing is to play uh, piano when you have a singer and you're still trying to put enough energy into it so they feel supported, but at the same time, you're trying to not get too much in the way. If you would like more content like this, definitely let me know other songs that I can cover for you. If you're one of my students, I hope this video helped you. And at the same time, if you have more information, if you want more information about what we do here at the Hit Music Studio, check our main website, thehitmusicstudio.com. We'll see you guys on the next one. And thanks for watching. Take care.